um, but we can't do that at the moment, so we have to do what we have to do. Um, so, what have I done this week to change things up? I've kind of enacted a bit of a schedule. I've got a routine. I've got a daily ritual, as you might have seen from this book I mentioned last week by Mason Curry. This is one of the first books that was featured in Tim Ferriss's uh, book club that he ran for a short period of time. I think it might have been a year or so. Then he kind of put it on ice. But essentially, he was recommended a few books for us to read. If you're part of the book club, you kind of email. I think you'd send him an email, and it was also part of his blog, or he basically t- took a book where he he thought a book that would would be of value to people, whether it's you know self improvement, whether it's just some fiction, whatever it may be. He took the book, he devoured it, and then there was a time to obviously you know get involved in the community, reply in the comments, and share your thoughts. I picked up this daily rituals, which was probably I think the first one I'm going to say in the routine. I'm not too sure if it was the first, but it's probably around the first ones. And it was really eye-opening. Essentially, each page or each you know few pages on the book highlights one influential thinker, great mind, and kind of breaks down their daily rituals and routines. Some people on here, the funny thing about some of the people featured is that a lot of them are quite adamant that they don't have a ritual or routine. They're like, no, I'm just a free spirit. I do whatever. But then once they grow a bit deeper, whether it's via, whether it's just them you know talking to themselves and kind of figuring out what they do you you can kind of patch together a bit of a framework as to what gets done at what time and you know what what's that saying they say um what can't get what, what was it what can't get measured can't get improved or whatever there's some term people use right but the idea of like flying by a seat of the pants at that kind of level especially if you're talking about i don't know let's pick someone randomly who did to list someone well known that we all know here if you're talking about Igor Stravinsky Samuel Beckett uh, Scott Fitzgerald James Joyce all these people it's unlikely they're going to be at that level prolific as they are as writers intellectuals whatever it may be without some kind of um, routine or rituals that they do in order to kind of get the best out of whatever field of study they are into so obviously work aside people's schedules are a bit up in here at the moment everyone's sort of doing whatever right they're just trying to make sure each day feels like a different day because at the moment it feels a bit like groundhog day so in order to kind of help i've decided to do a ritual which includes i've got it here on my list actually of stuff that i've got to tick off but i've downloaded this app called coach.me I'm not sure if anyone's used it but it's really handy as well i think it's another one that tim Ferriss might be involved into um it's this app here Coach stop me as you can probably see on the screen. Can you see that there? Da, da, da. Nope, it's not loading up there. Can you see that? Nope, it's not picking up, is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, essentially, it's a to do list that you basically add different tasks and things that you want to do during the day. And then each task you can also specify how many days in the week they're going to get done. So, if you if if it's like you know, running for instance, I might want to do that five times in a week, Monday to Friday. So, you just put five little dots down. And then you can kind of tick them off as you go along. And the best part about it, I think, is each topic, each thing that you put down, especially if something that a lot of people are doing, whether it's sit-ups or whatever, maybe you're journaling, there'll be a little subgroup, a little community that you can basically comment with and ask questions and reply. I think as you can, can you see that a little bit there? Probably not. Basically, I would describe the screen, but the screen is sort of like, it's got like a massive button there you can press to say you've done it. And then you can ask some questions down below, see who else is doing it in the day. It's really handy sort of thing to use. So I've got here, each day I'm going to do 100 push-ups, sit-ups, um, journaling in the morning, which includes just writing down my morning thoughts, things I've kind of thought about during the day, just to kind of get rid of that brain fog, uh, listen to an audiobook for an hour, read for an hour and run, and then write a blog post. Of course, I'm doing that at the moment on my website called uh, defaultgoon.com. Check that out if you're not already. But that's the kind of routine and ritual that I've kind of uh, laid out for myself over the last over the next few weeks. I think in the UK we have a review as to what's going to happen with the lockdown, whether or not they're going to extend it, they're going to shorten it, or they're probably going to extend it. It's unlikely they're going to shorten it. People have been acting a fool lately, but there's a there's a review happening, so there's some time to kind of analyze as to uh, what goes on next. But I'm assuming my assumption will be that we'll be in this condition probably until the end of June. I'm going to say, judging by what's happening. And then I guess from July, they'll start relaxing a little bit more, maybe enacting the same change they did in Spain and maybe allowing people from the manufacturing industry to go back to work or other essential workers. Um, and then little by little, I think companies will have to make a decision as to what they do. Will they Do they allow uh, most of their workforce to come back to the office? Do they still have an office? Those are things that are still going to be up in the air. But I think 
I definitely do encourage, um, definitely number one, picking up this book, Daily Rituals, especially if you're stuck in the mire and you don't know what to do and you're trying to figure out how to plan out your days, definitely recommend you check this out. And then secondly, just get a to-do list, get some kind of a daily habit tracking app that you can use and spec out a few things. I, I try and be as specific as I can. Like I've got write a blog post, right, for each day. It doesn't have, it, I don't specify what topic it can be at, just write one, so that's a win for me. Um, but you have to be super specific like so you know whether it's like write 500 words about a certain subject put that down so that there's, so that there's an intention and action behind that can follow it as opposed to just like some flowery you know um, general sort of goal thing that usually sort of works for me and again try and keep them as small as possible you know start with one or two and then try and build them up as you go as you proceed um, what you want to aim for is consistency not just volume you don't want to just have loads of things on there so you can feel good about yourself and then you know in a couple of days once the motivation is gone it all comes crashing down that's not the way to do it but yeah that's what i'm doing for now going forward um 